Well, it's been a while since I've uh, put any videos on YouTube, and uh, I'm hoping to do a few more here in the next couple months. But uh, I thought today I would do a sky. Uh, I just got back from uh, Michigan and uh, saw some great pictures of storm clouds. Uh, took some great pictures, I should say. And uh, they were really dramatic as the sun was setting, and we had uh, some ultramarine blue, some Payne's gray. Um, got into a little bit of phthalo blue and then went to a, a gamboge and a little bit of orange at the horizon as the sun was setting. So what I'm going to mix up here is I'm going to mix up uh, some Payne's gray, uh, some ultramarine blue to start with here. Get it nice and dark because the sky was really dark and moody. Um, so let's just start here. I'm using a mop brush. Um, it's uh, number six. Also, uh, I'm working on Strathmore Series 400 watercolor paper. Uh, it's a paper I suggest to a lot of my students because it's reasonably priced and it takes all the, uh, all the techniques of watercolor. So my goal here is to get this dark enough. You've got to remember that uh, the watercolor is going to dry light. So you want to make sure that I hit it strong enough initially. But I'm going to go with a real dark, dramatic sky. And uh, I'm going to fan this brush out and get some dry brush effects in here. So the sky is going to be very, very dark, very moody. I'm going to add just a little more phthalo blue in here. I'm going to rinse this brush out now and take some clear water and just hit some of the edges, not all of them, just hit some of the edges where I'm hitting the dark color plus the white paper. I'm going to take this right down almost to the horizon line here. So I'm going to take a little more phthalo blue now. Nice, a cool color temperature wise. So I'm dropping in that dark color over top of that phthalo blue that I placed in there. Just want to transition a little more of that dark down into here. I'm going to go with the number four mop brush and go in there with some gamboge, which is a yellow orange, and some cadmium orange also here. Okay. Now I'm going to take clear water and hit the top of that orange right in here. I want that to, I don't want that to be quite so strong a shape right there. Okay, that works pretty good. Just fan the brush out, barely touch the paper. As you can see, I'm slowly lowering the brush till I, I get what I think I want there. Thalo blue, a little stronger thalo blue in here. I think that's pretty good right there. I'm gonna put some water in the bottom bottom of this painting here, just like a little a little pond. 
back in here. So I'm going to bring that orange all the way down here. Maybe have it peek out over here too. That's cadmium orange. Okay, I'm going to dry this and, uh, and then we'll finish off the foreground. Okay, that's pretty dry. It's wet up in here, but it's dry down here where I want to add more to the painting. I'm going to come here again with the dark color. I'm going to go with the sky color, the darkest colors, panes, uh, gray, ultramarine blue, um, some phthalo blue also. I'm going to put a tree line in the background here. And I'm going to use this uh, five gallon paint stirring stick to give myself a nice straight line back here. Once I've established that, then I can go back to just uh, freehanding the rest of it here. And I'm just going to lay the brush on its side. Just a suggestion of trees in the background. Dropping in a little more pigment. I want to make sure it goes dark enough back here. Going to go with my, uh, again, my number four mop brush. And go to my darkest darks again. Ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, Payne's gray. Pretty much everything's going to be in silhouette here. I'm fanning this brush out. And it fans out really nicely. And I'm going to start with these trees that come up over top the horizon line here. I'm going to switch to a, a large round brush for this. Sometimes I'll, instead of drawing my brush towards me, I'll, I'll push the brush to get some nice effects. Yeah, I want to make sure this is dark enough. It's very easy to uh, mix your colors up and, and you think you're going to be really dark when you're done, but they're going to dry, you know, 20% lighter or so. So I want to make sure I hit these really strong. I want to let the water, the, the pond back here. I'd like to have that peek through in a few spots here. This is pretty much just phthalo blue now. My brush still has the dark color in it, but the, I want to get that coolness of the of the phthalo colors. I'll go back up in here. I'll go a little darker again with it. But I, I love this coolness, and that phthalos will definitely give you that.
So I hope this shows up on camera, this thalo blue in here. Okay, so now I'm going to go to a little script brush, put a little detail in here. Again, using the same dark color. Now the paints I'm using are a Da Vinci, also American Journey, and uh, I've got so, several other brands, Dan uh, Daniel Smith, uh, HWC that I also will use, but uh, these right now are pretty much American Journey and Da Vinci. Just a little bit of detail. And this is a number one script brush. This one happens to be uh, by Black Velvet. I'm not sure if that uh, thalo blue is showing up enough in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some water in my brush. Just loosen that up a little bit. And that, that alone pretty much did it right there. Let's try it over here a little too here. Just so it doesn't come out as solid black. It's nice to see that variation in there. Just barely touching the paper, just the tip of the brush, just the small end of the hairs. And I'll throw a few birds in here and we'll be done. Be sure and vary the distance between the birds. Uh, the tendency is to organize them and they're all a quarter inch apart or half inch apart, but have one or two out in the front and have some close together, some more distant. Uh, it's gonna be much more believable if you can do that. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're a part of an art club, the organization that would like to sponsor a workshop, please contact us. We'd love to come in and paint with you. Thanks.